welcome. I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I thought I'd show you this card today. It's made with Hey Chick, which is a stamp set that you can get from Stampin' Up! But you cannot buy it. You can only get it for free. It's time for celebration, January 4th through March 31st. And everything in this catalog is free. You can get one of the products in this catalog for each and every $50 you spend in the U.S. Love these. Favorite time of year. And one of my favorite products is Hey Chick. Let me show you how I make this card. My first step is to stamp that wild chicken on the peekaboo peach with Cajun Craze ink with all of our ink pads. You push, flip, lock it in. I also want to stamp Hey Chick for this part down here. I just wanted to show that if you keep your blocks really clean, um, I should be using the Stampin' Up! microfiber cloth, but I use it so often and I tend to just shove it away and then I can never find it. So I've got a bunch. Most of these are that I got with my glasses. They are the thin microfiber cloths. You want to clean both the block and your stamp because you'll get fingerprints, you'll get um, maybe stampin' mist in there, any kind of dust or debris, or maybe even um, oils from manufacturing. Anything will keep that from sticking, but if you keep them clean, they will be great. I'm going to stamp Hey Chick, and on the inside I'm going to stamp Have a Happy Day. And maybe I'll stamp that same chick on the inside, just for fun. I just want to color the feet, the beak, and the little top knot with the markers. If you scrub a lot, the Cajun Craze will bleed. It is a water-based ink. But if you're a light touch, it'll be fine. Coloring in the tail feathers too, why not? Then use your snips to cut out the chicken. Now you you want to leave a border. Don't drive yourself crazy by trying to get every little feather. And a trick to cutting well is to move your paper instead of the scissors. Now I do want to cut out the feet, but I think I want to try and kind of even up these feet so that it'll stand up in that card a little bit better. So I'm going to a little extra long with that toe there. This card will cost you big, big bucks because we're going to put a penny inside here. right on the back just to give a little bit of weight and I'm going to take a tiny bit of the scrap of the peekaboo peach if you don't have the half inch circle punch don't worry you can cut out a square or just any scrap and we are going to use glue dots on this scrap and put the end of the thread in here and stick that to the back of the head You'll probably need, oh, three or four inches or so. Now I'm going to do some work on the Sahara Sand, five by three and three quarters. I wanted to use a layering square to cut out the hole. And I think I decided to use the largest one. Yes, this is the number one smooth square, and I'm going to Cut it out from about there. 
So I found the largest square and I'm just kind of centering it near the top. Got the magnetic platform, the messy plate paper, the number one smooth framelit, cover it with a clear plate and run it through. I am switching to my regular plate without the thin die adapter. And I do need two plates, so I'm going to go ahead and use that messy plate. And on the wood grain folder, there are two sides. There's the smaller side, and then there's the larger one with the Sizzix and the Stampin' Up! on it. On the smaller back side, I'm going to open up my stamp pad. Not the side with the finger holes, but the rounded side. We're going side. to rub it on that raised side of the folder. Take out this part. And it's easiest, I think, if I put it onto the clean side so I can work without getting my fingers messy. Close it in. Top with my other cutting plate and run it through. And what that does is it inks only the indented or debossed parts of that design. And all I have to do is run this through the under the sink and it washes right off. I was seeing all these samples on Pinterest with this chicken wire and I loved the idea and I looked through was that a designer series paper? I didn't think we had a, a stamp with the chicken wire on it. And then I finally figured it out. It is the hexagon folder. This time we're going to use the front side with the Sizzix and the Stampin' Up. We're going to be putting the design on that window sheet, so we have to use stays on. Now this is kind of an off-label use for this folder um, with the stays on because stays on ink is really designed to stay on glass, plastic, wood, tile, you name it. So it will stay on your folder unless you use the stays on cleaner. I would use it right away and don't leave it on your folder for very long. This is an off-label use. This is not really something that Stampin' Up! recommends. I did it before. I did clean off my folder really quickly and it didn't leave any um, it didn't leave any staining and it didn't damage my folder but your use may vary but you can just rub on you can see that chicken wire pattern now and I'm not going to run it through the big shot I'm just using it as a stamp so I'm again placing my window sheet on the clean side folding it up and I'm just pressing and I do want to press all over and now I'm going to go ahead and go into the kitchen and clean off this before I go any further. And my folder is good as new. If you do not want to take the chance of damaging your folder, you can use Memento ink and stamp on cardstock and it works just great too. After I made this card, I decided it really needed a little bit extra around the edges. I to sponge after it was made, but I'm going to sponge now. And of course I cannot find the other Hey Chick that I stamped. You can use the square that you cut out, so I'll just do that now. And I'm just going to punch it out. This is the classic label punch, and you can leave it this way or you can also punch this rectangle and flag the ends, but I'm going to leave it this way and I want to sponge th these edges too. I think it looks like something that should be on the chicken coop in the barn, if I had one. So on the uninked side, the unstamped side, I'm going to add right in the corners some glue dots and also in the middle wish I could remember who I saw 
tie a ribbon around their glue dots and it's perfect. It makes it so easy to pull that tape back and expose just that one next glue dot. Thank you to whoever gave that tip. If it's you, or if you know who it who said it, let me know and I'll give that credit. Okay, so I'm just going to put that on the back. Then I'm going to use some foam adhesive strips. They are 1 8 by 9 inches and you get 10 yards in total. And that makes it really easy to add a lot of fun shaker cards. So I think I'm going to start in the middle and you can just kind of turn the corner. You don't want it too close to your window or it shows through. So you just have to pull off a strip. And lay it down. If I were putting a lot of little pieces, I would want to make sure that all of these edges were really close. But I'm not. I'm just putting the chick in there. And then I want to use that same thickness, so I'm adding a strip on the bottom. Before you take the backing off, you want to use the embossing buddy, especially around the edges, and that gets rid of any extra adhesive and static in there. I started out this original card just having it shake around, but I didn't want the chicken to be upside down. And so I decided to add this thread. So I'm going to put the chick in there. I want the chick to be able to get to the corners and be wild, but not too wild. And so I am using this metallic thread and just kind of coming up to this border and going around just to help hold that chick's head upward. Now I just want to adhere the Cajun craze to the card front. For this I like to use the, the green multi-purpose liquid glue because that allows me to wiggle it around a little bit if I need it. Putting my chick there and centering this layer. And then I'm going to put this layer down. I'm trying to decide whether I want to prop it up. I think I like it raised, but this would cost extra postage, I think. And so now my chicken can dance around. And I think it's fun. Hey, chick, have a happy day. I definitely wanted to show you the chicken wire and my idea for kind of controlling the dancing on that movement. If you would like to make this card, come on over to BevAdams.com. I'll have all the directions for you and a link to all the products. Remember that you can get this stamp set for free. If you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like one of those celebration catalogs, just email me and I'll get one out to you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.